Probably want a much bigger drum. Kick drum. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Kicks and Snares by Tune Tracks. Kicks and Snares is a massive collection of drums that zoom in on the two centerpieces of any drum mix, the kick drum and the snare drum. And this library is made of completely new samples for Easy Drummer 2 or Superior Drummer 3. This library has been designed for acoustic, organic, modern pop to hip hop to ambient electronic music. Library requires 4.7 gigabytes of free disk space and comes with 130 different kick and snare voices, all recorded in eight top studios across Australia and the UK. There's 31 multi sampled kick drums, ranging from big, small, tight, open, sampling different materials as well as sizes, makes, and models, and 43 multi sampled snares, ranging from ringy, snappy, muffled, high, and low, in all sizes, makes, and models. The library also includes three new tom samples, two crash samples, one ride, and a set of hi-hats. Comes with nearly 100 preset kits. Cover wide range from organic mixes to elaborate sound design. And a collection of mini grooves performed by Darby Todd. Does run in Easy Drummer 2, Superior Drummer 3. Normally sells for 89 US dollars. I'll include a link to take you over to Time Space. They were kind enough to get us a copy or review. Now, there's plenty of uh, promotional videos out to give you a deeper example, really polished. But what I want to do in this video today is to share a first look. I'm opening up the library for the first time. I'm going to be diving in, playing through different samples, the kicks and the snares, getting a feel for the different presets for the kits, as well as listening through the MIDI grooves. So basically just uh, sharing my experience as I learn about the library and explore it. All right, I've got Easy Drummer 2 loaded up here. Uh, again, this is compatible with Easy Drummer 2 or with uh, Superior Drummer 3. We'll go down. You can see we've got a brand new folder here for the sample set and the kicks and snares. Got a number of presets. We'll review some of those in a minute, as well as uh, it looks like these are the different rooms. Yeah. I think these are the different rooms they've recorded them in. And I didn't see the material where they mentioned the individual rooms, but I know it's in the UK and Australia. Uh, I'm just going to load up something simple. And uh, one of the things I like to do, let's just do a dry attack here, just to load it up at first. One of the things I like to do is just play through all the samples that are included. So we've got kick, uh, we got snares. And, oh boy, these are all the snares that are included. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, that's a nice ring to that one. And again, this is a very dry room right now. You can go to the mixer and see uh, it's just got some overheads. I don't think there's any verb on this at all because I just want to hear the samples. That's what I. That's how I always preview stuff. Ooh, that's meaty. Now that's one I would gravitate towards. Nice ring to it. Yeah. A little alternative voice. Oh, what's that one? With a symbol. Oh, 
that's a big boy, an 8x15. Nineteen twenties. No snares, or snares off, I should say. And there's that black beauty. Ah, oh, I like the ring on that one. It's got a neat kind of snare sound to it, that little fizzle. Deep. Now, if you're not familiar with Easy Drummer 2 at any time, too, you can control uh, some of your um, volume right here, as well as your pitch. Um, let's see if I can see right down here. There we go. That's pretty cool. Noble and Cooley Starwood Hoops. Old voicing. It's got a very um, 80s kind of sound to it. Almost like a Lindrum, only a little more organic. 70s Ludwig. nice. Ooh. Nice rock drum there. Oh, I like the snares on that one. A little bit of sizzle. Low sizzle. All right, very cool. So that's uh, all the snares included in kicks and snares. There we go. And then we've got our kicks. Let's go ahead and just start at the top. Ooh, so much rumble. Nice and tight. So much oomph in that one. No front head. One's real snappy. Oh, that one's neat. It's got that uh, little bit of... Uh, I don't even know what it is. A vibration on the head from the wood beater, maybe? Six. Let's fetch it down just for fun. You know what? Just at the pitch is when it sounds good, though. Plastic beater, nice and tight. No front head.
several variations on those noble and coolies. Antique marching drum. Real tight, the DW. And here's some premier alternative pitches. That one's nice, it's got a little space to it. There we go, Thomas Superstar, that's kind of a rock uh, kick. That's unique. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, through. Mostly just want to get a feel of all the samples, what they were without any effects or uh, reverb or anything, just to get a, a feel. It's a nice selection. I think a good way might be to just get a little basic groove going here. There we go. Let's flip through some different presets. Let's Yeah, that's a good one to kind of show that <clears throat> electronic sound just from the actual drums themselves. Okay, that's just the presets here. We've got different studio kits. So let's just let's pick a different beat. I'm gonna listen to some of the, some of those as well. I really, really like that. That's nice. It's amazing how much character, just from such a large library of kicks and snares, you're able to get.
okay, I'm starting to get a pretty good feel for just a huge amount of diversity. I almost want to say, without even going further into the library, that if you're going to get just one Easy X expansion kit, this might be your ticket. I mean, so much diversity, so many kicks and snares, and yes, of course, samples and tom or symbols and toms are going to drastically change the sound of your drum kit. But let's be honest, the heart of the backbeat is always the snare sound and that kick sound. Having such a diverse range is pretty awesome. All right, the next thing I think we should check out is the presets. These are the MIDI grooves that come with the sample set. Uh, let's just go ahead and start here. They're all recorded by Darby Todd. I'm going to go ahead and use the corresponding tempos so we can see how they were intended to be used. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the reversed grooves preset. And that uh, you can obviously hear it's playing back some reverse sample set. I'm just going to keep flipping through some presets as we listen to the grooves. Yeah, something like this, I might want a little more ring in my drum, my snare. Yeah. Obviously another very sound design with the big old silo. Okay, we'll jump that tempo up to the final set. 170 right here.
going to note right now, um, the way they've got it set up, they just have grooves and then fills. The grooves themselves almost feel like they're, uh, you know, intro, verse, chorus, bridge, without actually defining in any of that. Um, so there's not, it's not really set up as uh, song kits like a lot of the other uh, Easy Drummer, Easy X expansions for MIDI packs are. Nice and clean. This is, again, I'm going to say the same thing. If you're only going to pick up one Easy X expansion, I'm loving what this is. Um, maybe not loving the symbol characters. There's a little bit harsh for me, uh, but it is hitting a giant piece of metal, and that's just kind of the nature of it. I wonder what these would sound like if we approach them with uh, more of a band, big band or swing kind of sound. Yeah, because that ride is really nice. Yeah, that sounds really cool. They also talked about how this set was designed for everything from rock to hip hop. So, go ahead and get our tempo down. Much bigger drum, kick drum. Yeah, not too bad. I like that. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this checking out of Easy Drummer 2's Kicks and Snares. Really just wanted to give you an insight as to what the library holds just by opening it up, playing through all the samples, listening to the presets, looking at some of the MIDI grooves, basically just sharing my first experience with the new expansion. I'm a big fan of these Easy Drummer X expansions. Um, they're kind of like my Pokemon. <laughs> I kind of got to get them all. And this one is, yeah, uh, this is going up in my highly recommended for Easy Drummer 2 users. If you're a Superior Drummer user, then I bet this is going to be fantastic for you, especially if you're doing studio stuff where you got uh, real drum performances, but you're replacing kicks and snares. That happens so often. And this wide variety really going to help you in, dial in the right sound for your, your track or your song. But thanks for spending a little time with me here today. Uh, love to hear your thoughts about Kicks and Snares. Easy Drummer 2's expansion here. Is this something you're interested in? Would you like to see more uh, Easy Drummer Tune Tracks videos on the channel? Please let me know. Always love your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to head over to SampleLibraryReview.com for the latest news, reviews, and a weekly deals page. <laughs>